Ever wonder what size air on you should get? We're finally making a guide to help everyone figure out the right size air on and how to figure out the size of the air on that they have or should get. So both of these questions are going to be answered in this video. To start, we're going to teach you how to very quickly find out what size air on chair you have in front of you. That is, let's say you have the chair at your house and you want to find out what size it is. You can figure that out or trying to buy it off a reseller somewhere and they have it in person and they don't know what chair they, size they have. To do that, I'm going to teach you the quickest and easiest way to do this. And here's the dirty little secret. First thing you want to do is spin the back of the chair, not like this, but instead facing you. And when you do that, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes, but when you're behind the chair, you can stick your fingers right up behind the upper lip of the chair. You'll see there's two br uh, braille dots there. And depending on the number of the braille dots, you can feel them. When you feel them, you'll feel either one, two, or three dots. The one dot means it's a size A, it's a small size Aeron. The two dots is a size B, which is the most common. And then three dots, which is a size C. Sometimes you'll have difficulty finding the third dot on a size C because it's in a triangle format. You'll see two dots on the, feel two dots on the bottom and then a third on the top. So if you don't stick your finger far enough, you may not feel the third dot. I'm going to show you these chairs right here, which these are the Aeron Remastered. And we'll start from the smallest one, the size A. Put my hands behind the upper lip. It's a one dot. That's a size A, confirmed. I'm a uh, pretty much an average height and size uh, guy. I am about 5'10 and 200 pounds. So a little bit heavier, but still, uh, I'm generally a size B, but I'm going to show you what it looks like for someone my size to sit in a size A. You'll notice immediately that there's a rule that it will, I will fail for this purpose. The first rule that you want to check for when you sit in an air on is you want to uh, implement the two finger rule. The two finger rule is behind the back of your knee should be no more than two fingers worth of length between your the edge of the seat and the back of your leg. So here I could probably fit four to five fingers, actually almost. That being said, it's probably not a good fit. Another good sign that it's not a good fit for me is you'll start to see that my legs are spilling over onto the plastic frame and on the edges. The third sign that it's too small for me is you'll notice that my shoulders are well above the top of the, the back frame. So not a, also another good indicator that I'm not getting enough support for my back. Size A Aeron is probably good according to Herman Miller's size chart for someone around 5'5 five five or 5'6 five and under in height and about 160 to uh, 70 pounds and under. Now if you weigh lighter and you're still taller above that, so let's say you're about 5'7 or 5'8, but significantly lower weight, maybe 100, 120, you might start shifting down towards a size A, even if your height is a little bit higher than what they recommend. It's a combination of things, uh, but definitely when you're looking at the five, six height range and when you're in between the 160 pounds and lower range, start considering the size A. Now moving up is the size B, two dots right behind the back upper lip. Immediately I'll notice that the back of the chair covers significantly more of my shoulder blades and way more comfortable and tremendously more support than compared to the size A. When my feet are flat on the floor, I have just a little bit above two fingers uh, length of space behind the back of my knee and the front edge of the seat. That rule is almost there. It's actually, I'm a little bit on the edge from that perspective. It's a little bit over two fingers, but nonetheless for me, it's comfortable enough. So at my height, uh, I could definitely be at a size B very comfortably, but a size C would probably do just as good. Now the size C, again, like I said, make sure you stick your fingers far up behind the upper lip of the back seat to feel the third dot, like because it is a triangle format. Just a little bit under two fingers worth of space 
between the back of my knee and the front edge of the chair. That being said, I feel very comfortable in it. I have sufficient enough space on the sides to cover the, the, the flesh of my thighs. The back is now fully uh, covered by the mesh. And so this brings me to another point. Height isn't always necessarily determinative of what size because it's gonna be different. Some people are have more of their height in the torso area as opposed to their leg area. If your torso is longer than you know others usually, then you're probably gonna still want to go to a size C because of the amount of space that you want covering with mesh and not being uncovered, with, which you saw with the size A. You'll see that I had a significant amount of of my back not being supported whatsoever and then you also don't want to have you know specific pinch points and pain points in your shoulder blades hitting the back of the plastic as well so if it hits in the wrong point that could be very uncomfortable as well so really quickly i just wanted to tell you that we did this test and configuration on the uh remastered airons but this same rule applies to the classic airons as well they have the same braille test here in front of us is a size C Aeron um, Classic, and it has the three bumps on the bottom. It has our headrest on it attached. And even with the headrest, you can still have enough space to feel the braille dots and be able to decipher the size. Please put in the comments below any other uh, advice and guides that you would like for either Herman Miller, Steelcase, or any other ergonomic brand chair that you'd like to see.